this video we will learn um, masked filter the concept of masked filter and uh, also um, go through some derivations of the masked filter and try to understand how we can tackle this type of problems okay so here i start the question is let zt equals to exponential minus pi t square and st is a filter matched to zt if zt is applied as input to st then the fourier transform of the output is and these are the options so here we can see this is the input signal that is given and uh, one matched filter we have to design that is matched to zt and overall output combination will be of course the convolution of these two signals and we have to determine what the Fourier transform of the output so we can take the question in uh, frequency domain itself it will be easy to multiply the Fourier transform of this and this to get the result but before getting those result and before solving the problem uh, we will try to understand what this mean meaning of this matched filter so here I start with the very basic concept of the matched filter. So matched filter is designed for maximizing SNR signal to noise ratio. Why matched filter is designed? The first question is uh, this in the mind of the students, everyone. Every get is present, seven. So the answer is it is designed for maximizing SNR signal to noise ratio. And how we can maximize? So if there is an input signal GT of course I am taking there is an input signal GT so we have to design a filter which have the transfer function like this means impulse uh, domain means in time domain the transfer function like this so <clears throat> st equals to k GT minus t what is k here so k is just uh, amplitude scaling this t denotes the duration of that finite signal means if zt is some finite signal for example if zt is uh, some signal like this that is from 0 to 2 only so we will take t equals to 2 for maximizing the snr okay so in this way we can take the input uh, the impulse response of the uh, system to design a matched filter but the name why the name is matched this is the main concern so actually the name matched filter is given because except if we accept exclude this one the scaling factor and this time domain then overall this is matched with the input means except the scaling factor the optimum filter which the filter is designed is just delayed version of gt means the input whatever the input the same way the filter has been designed means the same transfer function some the same signal is being used as a system impulse response what we are using doing here just just doing the time delay okay so if the time delay eliminates and this is scaling eliminates then the overall signal is matched with the input that's why it is called matched filter so any type of filter which matches to the input signal will be called the matched filter okay now uh, we will uh, and one more thing that uh, t the value of t is uh, taken here here the value of t is taken for the finite signals okay and for what purpose it is being taken for maximizing the snr when we will go to the uh, elaborated derivation we will come to know why this t has been taken here but uh, overall we have to understand that this t is just because to maximize the snr and this is taken for the finite signal so we can uh, even eliminate this t and this k means we can change these values but the overall impulse response will be matched to the input and that will be called the matched filter 
so here now I come to the question for the given problem of course and the given signal is exponential minus pi t square so the matched signal will be as t k g t minus t earlier i had al already mentioned that we will take it in frequency response for uh, as we have to find out the fourier transform of the output so better we will take it in frequency domain so in uh, time domain if the signal matched filtered uh, uh, impulse response will be this then in frequency domain the, uh, taking the Fourier transform we can get easy calculation kz conjugate of this uh, Fourier transform and uh, exponential minus j to pi ft this is uh, one more factor that will arise in Fourier transform so the output will be what output will be just the multiple of this with the input that is gf into hf and so gf into kg conjugate f exponential minus j 2 pi ft so gf into g conjugate or uh, f will result in gf mod square and what is gf gf is just the full transform of uh, gt signal the full transform of this signal is gf so here we have gt signal as exponential minus uh, pi t square that is a Gaussian function and the Fourier transform of this signal will be exponential minus pi f square the Fourier transform of this signal will be so gf value of gf will be this one only so here we can apply gf as a exponential minus pi f square and uh, multiplied with k remaining exponential minus j2 pi f t so this one is matched to the input and this one will be the matched filter and we can vary the values of as I have already told you that uh, we can vary the values of k vary the values of t accordingly to maximize or minimize the SNR here for matching the options we can see that uh, only this option is matching because when 2 will come here exponential minus 2 pi f square and the remaining factor is nowhere in the options so in this way also we can uh, design a matched filter where we have taken k sorry uh, where we have taken k as uh, 1 and t equals to 0 so this is um, one type of matched filter that we can design another type of matched filter also we can design by taking some value of t some value of k so we are free to take any value of k and any value of t but there is a condition that we have to maximize the SNR if we have to maximize the SNR then we will ta take t as a duration of the finite signal but uh, here the infinite signal we do have so we are not concerned about the maximizing SNR so we will eliminate this factor and uh, this factor of course the um, transfer function will be uh, sorry impulse response of the um, transfer function or uh, you can say system will be matched to the input that's why it is called the matched filter so overall this is the output of the matched filter the Fourier transform of the output of the matched filter so this was the very basic concept of the matched filter and uh, what we have to learn in the matched filter is that just this function that uh, the impulse response of the matched filter is matched filter or system is k into g t minus t where t is the duration of the finite signal but in this case here we have taken t as zero because uh, as to match the options because that uh, even that function while taking t equals to zero that function also matches to the input signal so that's why it is also a matched filter and so the d options will be correct i hope uh, I have um, explained in a very well manner the matched filter and uh, in coming days I will come with some other videos um, with some other better concepts. Thank you so much for watching.